welcome to BC Shed and uh, this is just a bit of an update on the strip down of the Aces Rampage Extreme 5 system. Um, as you can tell everything has been removed if Richard wants to come along and have a look. So um, all the hard drive has been removed, radiator has been, also the only thing I've left in is the EK water block and uh, these two fittings uh, will be removed when I have the hard tubing compression fittings uh, so it's ready for a deep clean and then the wiring uh, let's turn it around Ugh. so all of this needs to be cable managed so everything's been separated uh, ready for it and yeah um, not sure in regards to will I be using the black cable supplied by the Corsair uh, 1500i power supply for the motherboard and graphics card, uh, but I think custom, possibly custom uh, cabling. Uh, the color scheme is going to be red because the motherboard, if you look, this is red galore. If I had more time, I probably would have either used carbon, 3D paper and cover the red and make it a stealth black system with black hard tubing but I'm not keeping it, it's going to be built to be sold so um, the system is going to be built in a way so it's going to be versatile for change so the tubing is going to be clear so if the new owner would like to change the colour um, all they have to do is just drain the system which will have a drain port refill it through the fill port and change either the rings to white or blue or whatever um, but I think because it's aces red is the color for it all right so we'll uh, probably do another video in regards to installing all the different parts uh, like I said in my previous video if you have not watched that you know have a look at here and that explains the mini series that I'm going to be doing in regards to all the different components needed for to water cooler BC, uh, you know, water blocks, different fittings, different tubing. So, if you want, like, this had a soft tubing, we're going for acrylic. They also do now carbon fiber tubing, they also do uh, pure metal, brass, you name it. Um, also, the radiators, different radiators. Um, people get a bit confused, but this is uh, EK radiator really thick radiator but the density of the fins are quite wide so you can actually put um, airflow fans on this instead of static fans and still get fantastic performance uh, a lot of people thrown upon building a uh, dusty as hell um, building a water cooling system and then not putting static fans um, well I like a nice silent system and and if I do extreme overclocking, I'll, I will put static fans, but they are loud. I even use Delta um, server fans, which are ridiculously loud. But um, for this system, I'm going to be using all Corsairs, as you can see, a bit of a mountain of Corsair Airflow fans. And these are going to be controlled by uh, software internally. Uh, so the person can set a custom uh, profile so if they're gaming they can put a maximum airflow if they're just using media or browsing they can knock off certain amount of fans so the, the system is not as loud as um, when it's full blown so there you go hello welcome back so a little bit of an update um, we've removed everything from the case um, pretty much give it a good clean and now decision time. So we clean all the filters, remove all the fans, all the wiring's been separated. And the original build had a 360 uh, mil uh, EK, uh, EK radiator on the top and a 280 at the front. But we're going to change it. So we're going to put the EK up at the front, which is 360, 120 mil fans, three fans. And then we're going to get Alpha Cool, brand new. Uh, 360 on the top so uh, all the radiators will have a Corsair's 120mm um, airflow fans which is a little bit there we've got a few more new um, so 
what it would look like because two weighted there was a bit of a gap so if I just give you a bit of an indication a little bit too big yeah, probably too big because it's quite bold so we might have to go for the alpha cool at the bottom after all so there you go and then on this side, when my finger is tapping, we're gonna I'm gonna put a, a custom uh, acrylic uh, plate. Now, uh, before we had the push pull configuration, and to be fair, you can have all the arguments you want. Push pull does not make a huge difference as long as you have decent fans pushing air through, and that's what we want. We want air to go through the radiator, through the case, pulled out, and then we're gonna have three 120 mm Corsair fans. Uh, pulling air up on top, so we got a nice constant airflow through. Uh, I I could put, I will include extra fans with the sail. So if if the seller wants to add extra fans and put on a push pull, that's fine. But um, for me, I think to have a clean look, it's more about performance um, as well. But to keep it nice and clean, keep it mean, keep it clean. So there you are. So until the Alpha Cool fittings coming from Germany arrives, I can't really do much. I'm going to tackle the wiring and decide where I want everything to go. Uh, but because I haven't decided if I'm going to go custom cabling or not, um, I'm going to put that on hold. Um, in regards to the Titans, at the moment, they're still attached with the soft tubing. Um, the bridge between the two cards, I was thinking of acrylic, but I might put uh, pure like nickel uh, metal uh, tube to just make it a bit more rigid. Because uh, they're quite heavy, the blocks are quite heavy as well. I mean, they're pure copper. Um, doesn't have a backplate, but that doesn't bother me. It's more for looks of backplate. It doesn't really help a lot overall so there you are until next time take care bye hi there guys thanks very much for watching the video it really means a lot to me um, I hope you enjoyed it and if you did please leave us a like or even subscribe to our channel for future videos and if you didn't like it please give us some feedback we are a non-profit channel so we this is a hobby and we try to share information with people of like-minded people like yourselves uh, but we always appreciate any feedback so until next time take care thank you